Welcome back. Last year, the outdoorsy triathlon was such a big hit that they decided to do it again this year. It is a fun event that involves a hike, a bike and some paddling, and then it all ends with a big party. But know this, only 125 people can register. Here are the people who made their dream a reality with this event. We have Moshe Katz from Yellowwood. It's a great outdoor shop in Whitefish Bay, along with Beth Handel from Milwaukee Kayak Company and Samantha Maldano with the Milwaukee Parks Foundation. Great to see all of you. Thank, Thank you. you so much for Thank being you. here. So what's the deal, Moshe? It's a, a hike, then a bike, then a paddle, then you party. We could do it in reverse order, but it probably wouldn't work very well. It probably it wouldn't, wouldn't get very safe. far. Yeah. yeah. This it's is really, so it's awesome. fun. It's great. We actually was just the, this, this creative idea that we had sitting around with people that we love, specifically Beth from Milwaukee Kayak Company, the gang over at Wheel and Sprocket. I mean, who doesn't want to be with them and hang out with them? Yeah, that's so cool. So how does it work? Do, do people walk from Yellowwood? So basically we walk from Yellowwood at 11 o'clock on Sunday the 8th. We walk from Yellowwood. It's a two-mile walk from Yellowwood to Wheel and Sprocket and Fox Point. We get on bikes that are dropped off either the night before or the day of the event. We bike down the, the um, Oakley Trail down to Milwaukee Kayak Company. And How far is that? Do you about know? 10 about? Miles, oh, okay. About 10 miles. Oh, okay. Perfect. And then from there we get on, in a kayak and we paddle down the rivers and have a great time with Milwaukee Kayak Company. That's so cool. Benefiting Milwaukee Parks, which I think is great. Um, tell us a little bit, Beth, about this second annual event and why you decided to dream this up. We work really well together. We love Yellowwood, we own Sprocket, we definitely love the parks and uh, it's just a great collaboration of businesses and just to get people outdoors in a fun, a non-competitive way. So, and it just brings together the community in a different way. I love that. Um, so you have enough kayaks for everybody? We do have enough kayaks for everybody. Yes, that is the plan. For and sure. that's kind of why you have to cap the number, right? Because people bring their own bikes to ride, they hike, but the paddling park, you got to have enough kayaks. So that's the reason you limit it. And I know it was so popular last year. You had 100 people. You expanded to 125 this year. Right. So you yes. got to register like right now. Yes, absolutely. And you get a discount on registration through August 1st. Wonderful. Yeah. OK, so let's also talk about what people sh should expect with their registration, because there's some fun things included so get, with that. Everybody, first of all, the event is fun. The journey in life, that's what this is all about. However, there's some swag along the way. Um, that they'll get. They've got, we've got Sendix this year as one of our sponsors. Nice. Broken Bad at the end. Um, so it's, it includes, obviously it's an amazing event itself, great food at the end, great um, 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 swag along the way. We've got some, I don't want to give it away yet, but we've got mm -hmm. some really amazing people uh, and brands that we have at our shop. They'll be giving some things away for us as well. So That's awesome. And Broken Bat is where the party is. That's a brewing is. company. Yep. So actually, our, our sponsors this year are Sendix. We love, every, who doesn't love Sendix in Milwaukee? That's where our food is coming from. Broken Bat for some, two tickets for some um, enjoyable drinks at the end. <laughs> um, libations. And, and libations at the end. And then we've got canopies for uh, whatever our needs are, including, you know, porta potties and oh. things like, you know, things you got to have along the way. Nice. Um, and then we've also got Independence First, which gives us a parking lot uh, at the end. So Sweet. That's great. Really, really nice. Wonderful. You got everything taken care of. How wonderful for the Milwaukee Parks Foundation. Yes, Talk definitely. about um, how you use this money. Definitely. So we're very appreciative for any sort of engagement that we get from the community through different events. And so with the Milwaukee Parks Foundation, it really is a nonprofit that is garnering support, investment, resources for our parks across the community. I mean, we have you know, 301 employees in the Milwaukee Parks that service 40 Lambeau fields by themselves. Wow. So massive amounts of real estate that they have to manage. And so we really use those funds. We've raised 1.8 million over the course of the last three years. And we do it more so in the seeds and sprouts um, faction. So the seeds are really meant for the infrastructure for our parks, as well as for programming in different community centers. And then the sprouts are really focused on granting different organizations or individuals that want to do programming to create community convening and a safe place within our park system as well. And I think our parks are absolutely fabulous. You've got some incredible ones in Milwaukee County. I appreciate them so much more now that my oldest daughter is living in New York. I mean, everybody's clamoring for a little piece of grass and a tree and, mm -hmm. and some, some clean air. So I yeah. think it's wonderful. Um, and so organizations can organize things like this mm -hmm. to benefit you and support Definitely. it because it's obvious why the people who are here, Mosh um, and, and the kayak company, why they want to support parks 
because people can use their cool outdoor gear and their kayaks and their bikes to ride the trails. Definitely, it's the biggest treasure that we have in our community that I don't think everyone really realizes is a shared asset within our community. And so we need to just find more ways to come together and use these as like a great convener because anyone and everyone can be part, you know, and enjoy the parks that we have. Love it. Okay, so where can folks register? Because they're gonna wanna be one of the 125. Milwaukee, I'm sorry, OutdoorsyTryMKE.org is where we are. I hope I got that. Dot com. <laughs> dot I think. Com. And I'm sorry. going to share it here in a second. Sorry, you're on the spot <laughs> with get that. It wrong. Um, but you got to register because they're going to be full prices. And it's going to register and, it's gonna be, and it'll go quickly. So Fun swag. I know. Yeah, it, really it did last that. year. So yeah. I'm so glad you're here giving our viewers the scoop on it so they can be part of it. Thank you all so much. Congratulations on how this benefits the beautiful parks. It's Thank great you. to have you guys here and, and see your dream come to reality. So here's the deal, everybody. The second annual Outdoorsy Triathlon in support of the Milwaukee Parks Foundation is happening on Sunday, September 8th. I bet you're going to have great weather. There is <laughs> early bird pricing now through August 1st. You're going to save 25 bucks on a single registration and 50 on a tandem registration. You can register at this website. It is outdoorsytrymke.com. There's the website. And if you want to support the parks and participation isn't your thing, they're also looking for volunteers. For that, you can email sarah at yellowwoodgear.com.